items on the agenda that are not a part of a public hearing. If there's anyone in the audience that would like to come forward and make public comment, please step to the microphone, state your name and address for the record, and be heard. With no one stepping forward, uh, we'll move on to the consent agenda. Is there a council member that would like to remove an item from the consent agenda? <clears throat> With that being the case, I'd entertain a motion. I move we approve the consent agenda. Second. Motion, Harrison, second, shoot, that we approve the consent agenda. All in favor, indicate by saying aye. Aye. All opposed? Consent agenda passes. Second item, item of, uh, I mean, the first item of new business, uh, consider naming Kimberly Leroy as uh, city clerk. And, uh, hold on just a second. I want to uh, this is uh, Kimberly joined us recently. The swearing in is, is uh, our human resource. I mean, I, I, our, our finance director would say a matter of housekeeping. Uh, but I'm, I'm glad to ask uh, Mary. You've got a little information you'd like to share with us about. Kimberly? Good evening. Thank yeah. you, Mayor and Council. Yeah. We're very excited to be here this evening with the um, uh, new city clerk, Kimberly Leroy. Kimberly is a Gardner resident um, and has worked for um, about the last six years with the Johnson County District Attorney's Office. She comes to us with great um, knowledge of Kansas Open Records and meetings and working in an administrative capacity of support for um, various um, organizations and, and governing bodies. So Kimberly, um, we began this recruitment in June, um, received 45 applications. Uh, we did interview five candidates who also participated in skills assessment. We did do skills assessment. Um, two candidates were selected for a second interview, which we did with a um, different panel, a different group of people. And uh, tonight we bring forth Kimberly Re Leroy and the mayor, um, uh, sir, Your Honor, if you would do the oath of office. Kimberly Leroy, do you solemnly swear to support the Constitution of the United States, the Constitution of the State of Kansas? and faithfully discharge the duties of Gardner City Clerk, so help you God. Thank you. Congratulations. <laughs> Welcome to the local party. Uh, new business item number two, consider appointing voting and alternate delegates for the 2013 League of Kansas Municipalities Conference. I didn't know if there was somebody that was going to address that or... I'm sorry. Yes, I should have been prepared to do that. <laughs> um, this is to adopt your voting and alternate de delegates for the 2013 League of Kansas Municipalities Conference. Um, as the CAF is written, the League of Kansas Municipalities hosts the annual conference of its members. Historically, the council has attended this conference when it was hosted locally. This year's event will take place October 12th through the 14th in Overland Park. The close proximity of the conference allows those council members interested in attending to do so without occurring, incurring hotel expense. State law provides that the governing body of each member city of the league may elect a city delegate from the city's officers to represent the city in the conduct and management of the affairs of the league. League by law, bylaws provide that a city voting delegate or alternate delegate qualifies by having his or her name, city title, and address registered with the executive director. The 2013 Business and Policy section of sitting voting delegates will be held on Monday afternoon, October 14th. 
Gardeners allowed four delegates and four alternates. Uh, staff recommendation, point up to four council members as voting delegates and up to four council members as voting alternates at the 2013 League of Kansas Municipalities Conference. So at this point in time, it's to select your um, appointee. Oh. Uh, well, at, at this point, I, we, can, we can certainly send everybody. Uh, it is local. There's no additional expense. Uh, I don't know if everybody is familiar with what their schedule is for that, those particular days, uh, uh, but I would certainly like everyone to uh, be able to attend. Is there anybody that thinks they won't be able to attend uh, the 12th through the 14th? I'm not certain that I'll be able to attend the afternoon of the 14th. That's some pending travel. My, uh, my schedule on the 14th is due to family vacation. I will not be here that week. Monday morning is when we're leaving, so I would not be able to be at a voting session on the 14th in the afternoon. Uh, okay. So, Chris, you'll be here and she's willing. Uh, Tori? I can be here. I, I will be here. Actually. Okay. So, the afternoon of October 14th. Larry? Uh, should be able to. Is this, now, is this like the. Uh, the meeting we went to in Topeka a couple of years ago? No, that was the Governing Body Institute. It's training for new members of the Governing Body. So uh, this is this is uh, annual business uh, uh, for the League. Uh, they have this conference every year. But I did go to th this one in Topeka a couple of years ago. It's similar. I mean, it, I'm not saying it's similar yeah. to Spain, but that's what I'm assuming this is. And they vote on what types of issues at that time, it was um, kind of some of the their rules, procedures, that type of thing. Uh -huh. It wasn't legislative agenda, that type of stuff. So. Oh. All right. Uh, that, that should be able to make that. Yes. Okay. All right. Uh, and I guess they have to be elected officials, correct? Yes. Okay. So, so we, we have, have three. So we have three. Okay. All right. I, as a member of the governing body, am, is, am I allowed to go and consider it as one? Yeah, why wouldn't you be? Why, I think so. Well, I think that would make, well, we get, we I think that would make the force. So you would go. Yeah. Okay. So we have four delegates. Yeah, among the city's officers. So we have four say. delegates. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Say, what do you have to use? All right. All right. Then, yeah, Good. four voting delegates, okay. no alternates. Okay. All right. Uh, and for clarification, are we ready for anyone else to take part on the 12th or 13th, and perhaps not the 14th? Can you send that? Yeah. Send that? Sure. Yeah. It, it'd be nice to be able to participate even if we can't vote. R right. There are some training sessions on the other days that you right. might want to take a look at. We'll send the sure. agenda to you. Great. Thank you. Okay. And will they have, Cheryl, I can't remember the last time, but for some reason I did not think that they had visibility what the voting items were going to be until that day. Um, oh. If there's any way that they, and, and I don't know if that was just okay. procedure or if there's any way they can get that to. Let's see if we can get that. Uh, I would like to say that this is a new business item. If there's a member of the public that would like to, to uh, make a public comment about New business item number two. This would be an ideal time. Okay, with no one coming forward, uh, is there, there's not a vote or anything. We just appointed the four and we can move on to new business item number three. So consider authorizing the city administrator to execute an escrow agreement for the acquisition, acquisition of right of way for future expansion of Gardner Municipal Airport. Good evening, Brian. Good evening. It's actually a new business item number three and number four actually are together. Um, number three is just authorizing the city administrator to execute an escrow agreement for the purchase of right of way for the future expansion. Um, it's 7.9 acres and it'll be used to protect the airport's infrastructure and maintain compatible land use in the vicinity of the airport. Um, that's number three. Number four that goes along with it 
would be the 